Hey guys, this is Christina from Craft Muse, and today our tutorial is for a Lumigurumi um, little flounder inspired by the Zoom Zoom game. And this is what we're going to be making today. It's a pretty simple design. I'd say maybe the most difficult part will be in the tail and this part here, but it's really not that difficult. So, um, all in all, it's pretty simple. Um, compared to maybe some of my other ones that are a little more time consuming. Um, this one, you will just need a yellow and a blue. Today I'm going to be using a regular opaque yellow and then the neon blue from Rainbow Loom that you could get at Michael's. Um, and then you'll need some eyes. So here I used some pony beads, um, 9 millimeter pony beads, which I'm going to be using today. Um, feel free to use wrap bands, safety eyes, buttons, um, whatever you guys have on hand. And then you'll also need some polyfill or something to stuff him with. Um, and then your one hook. Either a crochet hook or a rainbow loom hook, whatever you guys um, work with. And then I am using a C-clip for my stitch marker. So either use a C-clip or a stitch marker that you can buy at your craft store um, just so you can keep count of your stitches and not lose track so let's get started the first thing that we are going to be starting on today is the little nose thing here so see it's a separate piece so we'll be attaching this onto the design um, later on as we get to about this point here we'll stop and then add this little part here so, let's get started on that. For this part, you're going to need your yellow. And the first thing that we want to do with this is a magic ring with six stitches in it. So, take your band, wrap it around your hook twice to create three loops on your hook. Grab another band, pull this capping band onto your band, slide it towards the center, and then reclaim onto your hook. And you're going to take this band through this one right here, just like that. Now I'm going to go back in through my capping band and make sure you're going through all three loops. So now you have your capping band on the hook and then you have this band over here. So you're going to grab another band. You're going to pull the capping band only onto the band and then reclaim the other end of this band here onto your hook. So you should have three loops on your hook now. This band here is going to go through these two here. So I'm just going to slide it under just like that. So that was two. I need to put four more. So I need to repeat this four more times. So I'll go back in through my capping band grab band number three, pull it through the capping band only, reclaim, and slide this band under these two. So just keep doing that. I think we need to do three more times. So in through capping band, reclaim, and slide under. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so once you're um, once you've got your six stitches in, you can go ahead and count it. And your stitches are these little V-shaped things here on the sides, and each one of these is a stitch. So you should have six. So I have one here, two, three, four, five, and then the band that is on my hook counts as a stitch. So that's six. Now go ahead and get your whatever you're using for your stitch marker and place it on the band that is on your hook. <clears throat> and so for row two, what we're going to be doing is an increase all the way around so that we end up with 12 stitches. And an increase is basically two single crochets in each of our stitches. So I'll go in through my first stitch here and I'll do my first single crochet. 
So I'll grab one band, pull it through the stitch only, and leave this band here alone. So just go through your stitch, reclaim, and then bring this, this band underneath these two. So that was my first one. I'm going to go back in through that first stitch and do another single crochet. So through my stitch only, reclaim, and bring this band through these two. So that was an increase. So now I'll move on to my second stitch here, and I'll do the same exact thing. So I'll grab another band, bring it through the stitch only, reclaim, and slide the bands underneath. I'll go back in through that stitch again, Grab a band, do the stitch only, reclaim, and crochet. So I'll keep doing that all the way until I get around to my C-clip. So there's one single crochet. I'll go back in through, and I'll do my second one. Now I'll go on to my fourth stitch. So there's one. And there's two. Now going through my fifth stitch. There's one. Go back in through there. Oops. <clears throat> two. And then here where my C clip is, this is my last stitch. And I want to put an increase in there as well. I'm just going to take my C clip out because it's in the way. And so I'm just going to go in through my last stitch and do my two single crochets. So there's one, and there's two. So you should have something like this when you're done, and you should have 12 stitches all the way around. So if you want to count those to make sure, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then the one on my hook is 12. Go ahead and stick your C clip back up there. And now what we're going to do for row 3 is just a single crochet in these 12 stitches. So I'm just going to go around in each of the stitch, um, 12 stitches here, and just do a single crochet. So I'll go in through my first stitch, bring my first band through my stitch only, reclaim, and then bring this band under these two. So that was one single crochet, and I'm going to just keep going around in all of my stitches doing single crochets. Okay, and then here's my last one here. Go ahead and take your C-clip out. So this is what you should have. And you should still have your 12 stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So now what you want to do is just go into your next stitch over, grab a band, and bring it through all the loops that are on your hook. Just like that. Reclaim the other end onto your hook, and then just tie it into a slip knot. I'm just going to stretch it out just a little bit. Okay, so the way that we're going to be attaching this to um, the body is just um, we're going to add some more slip knotted bands. I'm going to be adding three more. So here's my tying off band here. I'm going to go um, in the middle. I'm going to put one here and one here. So just go through a spot in the near the center. Take a band, bring it through a stitch, reclaim, and then just tie a slip knot. 
and then I'm going to do one on the other side directly across from that. So I'm just adding slip knotted bands and then I'll go directly um, on the bottom opposite from the top and add a slip knot band. So you should have a total of four tying off bands. So just like that. And we can set this aside. We're not going to need this right away. So let's go ahead and set that to the side. And then we can start working on the fins. So we're going to be making these. And these are going to be attached directly as we're working in around. So when we are finished making one, we're going to put it on a yellow band. Um, so you'll need your blue for this part. The first thing that we want to do for row one is a magic ring with six stitches. So you're going to wrap your band around your hook twice. I'm going to take another band, bring my capping band onto this band, and then reclaim, and then make my little slip knot. I'll go back in through my capping band, take another band, bring it through the capping band only, reclaim, and then slide this band under these two. So I'm going to continue this four more times. So once you've done that, you should have six stitches. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Go ahead and grab your stitch marker and stick it on that band that's on your hook. <clears throat> and for row two, we want to do a single crochet and then an increase. And we want to repeat this pattern all the way around so that we end up with nine stitches. So I'll go into my first stitch and I'll just do a single crochet. My second stitch is going to be an increase, so I'll be putting two single crochets in that stitch. So there's one. I'll go back into my second stitch. And there's two. My third stitch is going to be a single crochet. My fourth stitch here is going to be an increase. So there's one. I'll go back into my fourth stitch. There's two. My fifth stitch is going to be a single crochet. And then my last stitch here is going to be an increase. So there's one. And two. And then now what you want to do is stick your hook through the first stitch next to this one and pull a yellow band through all the loops on your hook, reclaim, and you're just going to tie a really loose slip knot, just really loose, just to hold it together for now um, um, because we're going to be undoing this little slip knot here to attach it to the body later. So. Or you can just stick it on a holding hook if you don't want to tie the little slip knot. So we need to make another one and I'll make it with you because I need to make mine. So again, I'm going to start off with my magic ring with six stitches in it.
your C clip and your band on the hook. And then do your next pattern, which will be single crochet increase all the way around. So my first stitch is a single. My second stitch is an increase. There's one. There's two. My third stitch is a single. There's one. My fourth stitch is an increase. One and two. My fifth stitch is a single. Just one. And then my last stitch is an increase. Just one. And two. And you should have nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now I'll go into my next stitch over, grab a yellow band, pull it through all the loops on my hook, reclaim, and do a very loose slip knot. Now I can set those aside because we won't need those till later. And now we can start working on the body of flounder. So we're starting off with yellow for this and then um, in a little bit we'll start doing some color changes to make his little blue stripes <clears throat> but I'll let you know when we're going to be doing switching back and forth between the blue and the yellow so let's just start out with our yellow first Sorry, I was drinking a drink and it got some water on there so our first uh, roll around is going to be a magic ring with six stitches if you guys make these Tsum Tsums or Lumi Gurumi a lot. You guys should be pros at this magic ring by now. So, just like we've done with our fins and our nose, we're starting off with our magic ring. Three. Four, five, and six. Grab your stitch marker. For row two, we're going to be doing an increase all the way around so that we end up with 12 stitches. So I'll just go all the way around and add two single crochets in each stitch. So there's one. There's two. I'll go to my second stitch. There's one. There's two. Go to my third stitch. One, two, fourth stitch, one, two, and then my fifth stitch, There's one, two, and then my last stitch here. There's one. And two. So you should have 12 stitches now. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Put your C clip back in. For this next row around, we're going to be needing our eyes. So whether you're using wrap bands or beads, get those ready. Um, put them onto a yellow band if you're using the beads. And the same with the wrap bands. And then if you're using safety eyes, you guys can add those later. On when we're adding the little nose part, you guys can put your safety eyes on then. So if you're using safety eyes, just skip this part where we add the eyes. Um, just add bands instead. 
Okay, so for row three, we're going to be doing a single crochet and then an increase. And we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around so that we end up with 18 stitches. And then our eyes are going to be going into stitches three and nine. Um, so just follow along with me and I'll let you know when we're going to be putting our eyes into this round. So our first stitch we're going to start off with a single crochet. Our second stitch is going to be an increase. Our third stitch is going to be a single crochet. So stick your hook through there and we're going to add our eye there. So grab one of your eyes, grab one end of the band, bring it through your stitch, reclaim the other end onto your hook, and then just do your crochet. Our fourth stitch is going to be an increase. The fifth stitch is going to be a single. Our sixth stitch is an increase. Our seventh stitch is a single. Eighth stitch is an increase. Okay, and then stick your hook through your ninth stitch, grab your other eye, bring the band through the stitch only. You claim the other end onto your hook and do your crochet. Our tenth stitch will be an increase. Our eleventh stitch will be a single. And then our last stitch is going to be an increase. So once you've finished that round, you should have a total of 18. <clears throat> so let's count those. We have one, two, three. And then if you're using the same size safety eyes as I am, you're going to have a small fourth stitch here um, just because of the size of the eye. Um, if you're using wrap bands, it might not be as small, but it's still going to be smaller than the other ones. But just make sure that you're counting that as a stitch, and when you do your next round, that you're crocheting into those tiny stitches. Because if you don't, you'll be off. Um, when you do your next row around, you'll be off, and you'll have the wrong number of stitches. So your fourth one is usually going to be a little bit smaller. So I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then my thirteenth stitch is also smaller, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So just remember those when we would do this next row around. So for our next row, we need to increase to twenty-four stitches. So what we're going to be doing is a single crochet, a single crochet, followed by an increase, and we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. So I'll start off in my first stitch with a single crochet. My second stitch is also a single. My third stitch is going to be an increase. So there's one. And there's two. Now here's my fourth stitch. It's going to be a single crochet, and it's tiny, so there's one. My fifth stitch is a single crochet, and then my sixth stitch is an increase. So there's one, two. My next stitch will be a single. Next is a single. 
Next stitch will be an increase. Then I'll go back to my single crochets. There's one single. There's my second single. And then my next stitch will be an increase. Okay, my next stitch is going to be a single, and it should be a smaller one. Next is a single, and an increase. I'm going back to my single crochets. So there's one. My next stitch is a single. There's two. And then my last stitch will be an increase. So there's one. And two. So now you should have a total of 24 stitches. So if you want to go ahead and Take a moment to count to make sure. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Alright, so the next thing that we want to do is for rows 5 through 8, which is a total of 4 rounds, we want to just single crochet all the way around. Um, these 24 stitches. So we're not doing any kind of increases here. We're just going to do single crochets around for four rows. So I'll do the first one with you and then I'll let you guys go for the uh, the remaining three. So make sure you're marking off how many rows you've done. So after each row just put a band off to the side just to um, keep track of how many rows you've done. So just single crochets all the way around. Now, I know I've said this like in my videos before, but um, if I am going too fast for you, feel free to pause the video, rewind the video if you need to. Um, I try to go at a slower pace, but I can only go so slow because I don't want my videos to be any longer than they already are because they're already pretty long. And so, um, you know, I try to go at a normal pace and if it's too fast for you just pause the video that's why I have these cards written out um, once you like if you're familiar with Amigurumi then you should be able to follow patterns just fine so that's what these um, cards are for just like a reference so that if you want to pause the video and just go at your own pace then that's totally fine and that's what these videos are for so, I mean, I've had some people complain that I'm going too fast or that I'm not explaining enough. And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Like, I can't, you know, teach basic Lumi Garumi for each design that I make. Otherwise, my videos would be so long. So, it is good to know, have knowledge of this technique before you go into a project. So if you're new to it, I would recommend starting off with a basic like ball or something, you know, to get used to it because it took me a long time before I was even like semi-decent <laughs> at Lumigarumi. It was so frustrating. So it takes practice. <laughs> okay. So I got one row down and I'm going to mark it off here. So I did one. 
And so you'll need to do three more now, um, rows around, just doing single crochets. And then when you guys are finished with that, I'll meet you back here. Alright, so I finished up with my additional three rounds. So this is what you should have now. And what I'm going to do now is I want to add my little nose piece. So I'm going to temporarily fasten this off for now. If you feel okay with just leaving your C-clip in, then that's fine, but I just, I don't trust it. So I'm just going to go into my next stitch over and just bring a band through all of the loops on my hook and just tie that off for now. I just, I've had like bad luck with the C-clips before falling out, so I just want to make sure that it stays in. So if your eyeballs are sticking out like that, just go ahead and shove those in. So it looks kind of weird when they're like popped out like that. Now when we're working on this, you want to make sure that your tying off band or your C-clip, if you didn't tie it off, is facing this way. So you want to make sure that it's towards your right. Otherwise, if you do it this way, your fins and th things like that is going to end up the wrong way. So make sure this is facing towards the right. Grab your nose piece. And we're going to line this up here. So I'm going to be placing mine probably up a little bit higher. This one was, um, I put down a little lower. So I'm going to be putting this one, um, like this, my center band is in the center of my eyes. So right between my eyes is where I'm going to have my center band lined up. Um, but it's up to you guys where you want to put yours. So... I'm just lining up my center band with my magic ring. So you can see here, this is where we started the design. So this is our center, and I want to pull my first tying off band through here. So I'll just go in through my magic ring and pull this band down through. And then I'm just going to go in through sections near the other tying off bands and then just pull those through. So this is what I have, and once you've done that, you can just go on the inside. Go ahead and just flip it out, inside out, and then just pick up a band, one of your tying off bands, pick it up onto your hook, go around and grab the other one, and slide this one through this one, and just keep picking up the bands and slide it underneath the next loop, grab the next one, go underneath. And then I'm going to go all the way around to this band here. I'm going to find some stitches right next to that one, the one that we started off with. So I'm just going to go through two stitches on the inside of the face, just like that. And then I will grab another band and bring it through all the loops on my hook. And then I will just tie a slip knot. So now you've got your little nose piece attached on there. That was pretty simple, right? <laughs> um, and then if you are doing your safety eyes, if you're not using beads, I'd recommend going ahead and placing those right now. So you can just, you know, add them however you'd like. So we can continue on with the body. We're not going to add his little top fin until we get a little bit further down into the body. So just go ahead and take out a that tying off band if you used it. And then pick up where you left off. Okay, so here's our next card and it might look a little bit confusing, but it's really not. I'll explain it to you. So we're still continuing with our single crochets around. Um, this is row 9 that we are now on. Um, I've just written out each of the stitches. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 24. 
And this is just telling us, like, the B and the B, those stand for blue. So our first stitch is going to be in blue, our second stitch is going to be in blue, and then the Y stands for yellow. So, um, each stitch, I've written down what color each stitch is going to be. And then in stitch 3, we're also going to be adding our fin, and in stitch 13 will be our second fin. So I want to get our uh, fins ready, and I'm going to go slow for this part anyways, but just in case you guys get lost, um, you'll have this little guide to kind of help you out with that. So we're, here we're going to be switching back and forth with the blue and the yellow. So get those ready and your fins. Okay, so our first stitch is going to be in blue. So grab your blue, and since we're doing a color change, we're going to bring this blue through all the loops on our hook, reclaim, and then do like a slip knot, a loose slip knot. So that was our first stitch. Our second stitch is also in blue. So go ahead and just do your blue. Our third stitch is where we're going to be adding our fin, and it's in yellow. So go ahead and undo that um, tying off band, but keep it in. So I will go in to my third stitch with my hook. And then just how we added the eyes, we're adding these fins the same way. So I'll bring one end of my band through the stitch only and reclaim the other end onto my hook. And then I'll just do my crochet. Okay, so our fourth stitch is in yellow. Our fifth stitch is in yellow. Our sixth stitch is yellow. Our seventh is yellow. Our eighth is yellow. Ninth is yellow. Tenth is yellow. Eleven is yellow. Twelve is yellow. Thirteen is yellow, but we're also going to be adding our fin. So stick your hook through your thirteenth stitch, grab your other fin, undo that little slip knot, but don't let it come out. Grab one end, bring it through your stitch only, and then reclaim the other end onto your hook, and then do your stitch. Okay, and then from here on to our C-clip is all blue. So I'm just going to go around with the blue. Now I didn't do like a color change slip stitch there because our fins are there anyway so you won't really be able to see it. Okay, and our last stitch here. Take your stitch marker out and replace it. Okay. So, let's move on to row 10. So for row 10, we're just doing single crochets around um, and this next row is going to all be in yellow. So 
you can see our first stitch here is a blue stitch and it's kind of facing this way you're gonna skip that one that doesn't count as a stitch it's just like that because of the color change that we did so we're going to go into our next blue stitch to start our round here and since we're going back to yellow I'm, I'm gonna do my color change here so I'll bring my yellow all the way through and then do my slip stitch and then I'll just continue all the way around with yellow so just single crochets all the way around if you don't feel comfortable with the whole slip stitch color change thing you can just go straight into like you can just switch back and forth with colors with regular crochets um, for this design I don't think it's really going to stand out that much if you do it that way because um, I just don't think it will look bad if you don't do the slip stitch color change because I know it can get kind of confusing with the off stitches once you do those color changes The Little Mermaid is um, my favorite Disney movie, my all-time favorite movie. I mean, I like all Disney movies, but this one has always just been my favorite because I've had, like, I love mythical creatures like mermaids and pegasus and unicorns and all those uh, fantasy things. So I love, like doing mermaid and sea life type things so this is my favorite movie these are probably my favorite characters okay so I have reached the end of this round don't forget to keep taking out your C-clip and replacing it. Okay, so for our next row round, we're now on row 11. We're still doing our single crochets around. Our first 13 stitches will be in yellow, and then our next, um, our remaining 11 will be in blue. So since I did the color change in the previous round back to yellow, I have a weird stitch here. So my first yellow stitch here, I'm going to skip. And then I'm going to do 13 yellow. So there's one. Two. Three. Oops. I think that was four. <laughs> Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Now I'm going to do the rest of them in blue. So I'll do my color change, slip stitch, and just continue around.
Okay, so that was end of row 11. So now for row 12, we're just going to be doing single crochets around in yellow. So no color changes in this next row around. So if you want to switch to yellow here, take your yellow band and bring it through all of these bands on your hook. Reclaim and do your slip stitch and then just continue around. And then up here, if you did your uh, color change with the slip stitch, you'll have a weird, your first blue stitch up here will be facing up, so you're going to skip that. Okay, and here's my last stitch for this round. Right, so now we are on row 13. We're still doing our single crochets around. Um, we're going to be doing 12 in yellow and 12 in blue. So, since I switched over to yellow in my previous row, I have a weird, my first yellow stitch is kind of going out, so I'm going to skip that. And if you're unsure about this whole, like, color change thing, if you're unsure if you're, like, skipping the right stitches, just make sure and count after each round that you still have 24 stitches. And if you don't, then you accidentally um, included one of those stitches or something like that. So 12 yellow, so there's one, there's two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Oh gosh, I lost count. I think that was ten. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And now I'm going to switch to blue. So I'll take my blue, 
bring it through all the bands on my hook, reclaim, do my little slip knot, and keep going around with the blue. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's my last one here. Alright, so for row 14, we are switching to yellow. So here's row 14. Again, single crochets all the way around in yellow only. And then after we do that row, we'll temporarily tie off so that we can start with his little head fin. So we're going to single crochet in yellow, and I'm going to do my color change here. So I'll take my yellow, bring it all the way through, reclaim, and do my slip knot. It's kind of weird band. Okay, and then just continue all the way around. See, this one's pretty simple, right? Pretty basic. Not much to add to the face, which is a good thing. <laughs> Alright, so once you get to this like little blue, where you started the blue in the previous row, you'll have a weird stitch. So skip that one. Just, of course, we're still on yellow, so just keep going around with your yellow. Okay, so here's my last stitch here. And then I'm just gonna go into my next stitch over and bring a band through all the loops and then just tie it off in a loose slip knot for now so that I can start working on this little part here, the little fin that's on top of the head. So there is no like right way or wrong way to do this. Um, this is all based on preference on how long or short you want to add this. Um, I'm going to start off probably a little bit lower than I did with this one. So I'll probably start somewhere down here and then go back and then probably stop at the same spot. So what I'll probably do is I'll put my first bands down in here, 
and then I'll just go straight up towards this last uh, row of blue here and stop there. So let me show you how we start that. It's going to be hard to get it into a straight line just because of the way, um, you know, since we're working in rounds, it, it's you're going to have to kind of zigzag it when you put your bands in. So pick your first spot somewhere in between the eyes and then I'm going to go up about two stitches. So here's one and here's two and I'm going to stick my first band. I'm going to put my hook through Take one band, pull it through, reclaim onto my hook, and then do a slip knot. Just a loose one. So now I'm just going to go up um, and create a line of bands. So I'll go to my next spot. And again, it's better to zigzag these because it will look straighter in the end. So put your next band through bring this band under these two just like we're doing crochets so again make this as short as you want Obviously you can't make it too much longer than I'm going to make it because we only have this much of the body done anyway, so. So yes, I'm just adding a line of bands up the center. So I think I'll add this band and then one more. Okay, so that's what I have and as you can see it's not a perfect straight line and that's okay um, you won't be able to tell that these are zigzagging back and forth when you add in your second row so now what you want to do is take this end and now we're going to be working up this way so we're going to be working the opposite way now so I've got the band on my hook and then you can see here's my stitch right underneath it I'm going to work into that stitch next, so we'll go in through that stitch and take a band, bring it through the stitch only, reclaim, and do my crochet. So I'm just going to do single crochets all the way up this way, or down, however you want to look at it. Basically we're just going in the opposite direction.
So I'm just going all the way down till I get to my very first stitch, which was right here. And then stretch it out a little. And then you can decide if you want to add another row to it. I think I'll just leave mine like this. So I just did one row, but if you would like to add another one, then you just go up again. So you just start with, you would have the band on your hook, and then you'd use, start going into the band right underneath it. So then you just do single crochets back the other way. But I'm gonna leave mine short, like a little mohawk, I guess. And so to tie this off, I'm just gonna go in through these blue bands here. Grab another blue band, bring it through all the loops on my hook, and tie that into a slip knot. Just like that. And then to hide that, I am going to bring this band, I'm going to go in some blue stitches at the bottom and bring this band through. like that and then I'll pull this band into the body if I can get it there okay so we've got his little top fit on and if you're still working on yours feel free to pause the video before we continue on to the next part So we're going to continue with our rounds. Um, the next row around is going to be our last row where we do our single crochets with the 24 stitches. So here it is right here. We're going to be working on row 15 and again single crochets around for 24 stitches and we're going to be doing 11 in yellow and 13 in blue. So go ahead and take, if you've used a tying off band, take that off. And then pick up the last band that you left off on. Replace your stitch marker. Okay, so I'm going to do 11 yellows. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, And 11 and then the rest will be in blue so I'll go into my next stitch and do my color change so I'll bring my blue through all slip knot and then just continue around till I get to my C clip And then from here on out, after this row here, it will be all in yellow. So this is our last row with the color change. So here's my last stitch here. Take out your C clip and replace it. OK, 
Okay, so for row 16, we are now going to start decreasing because we're going to start closing him up pretty soon here. So we want to do a single crochet, a single crochet, followed by a decrease. And we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around so that we end up with 18 stitches. And again, this is all in yellow. So my first stitch around is going to be a single crochet. My next stitch will be a single. Okay, now I'm going to be doing my decrease. And to do that, I'm going to pick up the next stitch over. I'm picking up the front loop only. So I'm not going through the entire stitch like that. I'm just going through one loop. And then the next stitch over, I'm going to pick up the next front loop only so that I have the two loops on my hook and then this loop back here. I'm going to grab a yellow band. I'm going to bring it through these two loops only and leave this one alone. So I'm just going to slide that through. And then I'll reclaim the band onto my hook. Just like that. And then, just like we've been doing, this band will go under these two. So that's a decrease. Now I'm going to continue on. So I'll do two single crochets. So there's one. And there's two. Now I'm going to do another decrease. So I'll pick up front loop only, and then the one ne right next to it, front loop only. Grab my band, pull through these two only, reclaim, and then do my crochet. Okay, so I'll go back to my single crochets. So there's one. And two. I'm going to do another decrease. If you did your color change, you're going to skip this first blue one here. So I'll pick up my first yellow one, skip this weird blue stitch here, and pick up the next blue one over here. Grab my band, bring it through, reclaim, and crochet. Back to my single crochets. So there's one. There's two, and then I'll do my next decrease. Pick up. Band through those first two loops only, reclaim, and crochet. So, single. Single, single, and then I will end with a decrease, decrease. All right, so now you should have 18 stitches if you want to count that. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Go ahead and stick your stitch marker back in there. Okay, so for row 17, we're still going to be doing one more decrease um, in this row so that we end up with 12 stitches. So we'll do a single crochet followed by a decrease. We'll repeat this pattern all the way around so that we end up with 12 stitches. So my first will be a single and again this is all in yellow. So single and then I'll do a decrease. Single. Decrease.
single decrease single decrease single decrease single and then a decrease Okay, so we should have 12 stitches left and once we get to this point you want to push your design down onto your hook a little bit because we want to start stuffing this before the hole gets too small. So take your polyfill or your tissue paper or your tissues or paper towels or whatever you guys are using and start stuffing it a little bit at a time. So just make sure you're not being too aggressive with your stuffing. Just be gentle, delicate, and graceful. I focus on stuffing more towards the front than I do the back because the back is where we have decreases. So I don't want my stuffing to show. Just squish them around a little. And once he is at the shape you want him to be, get in there, eyeball. Mine looks kind of mad. He looks angry. Then you'll continue with your rounds. So our next row around will be a decrease all the way around so that we end up with six stitches. So we're going to be doing a total of six decreases. So move that stuffing out of the way. And we're just going to start with, here's our first decrease here. And then I'll go to my second decrease. And I'll go to my third decrease. And then my fourth. And then my fifth. And then one more. So here is my last one here. Once you've done that, grab another yellow band, put it on your hook, bring it through this band, reclaim, and tie a slip knot. We're going to use this to sew up our little hole here. So take your tying off band and we're going to go around in this circle here, this little tiny circle. We're going to pick up the top loops only of each stitch. There should be six, but I can usually only find five. So just keep bringing this tying off band through each of the top loops of the stitches. There's three. There's four. And then I'll do one more. 
five. And then once you've done that, press down with your thumb and pull. Okay, and then we need to tie this into a knot. So I usually just find a spot right near where this tying off band ends. I'll stick my hook through and then I'll bring this through a stitch in the bum. And so I have this like, I didn't bring it all the way through. I left some band on the other side here. If I can get it. So I have it like that and then I'll just bring this little loop through this loop. And then again, push down when you're pulling up. Okay, so then just go in through the body, try to go on top of the polyfill, and then just pull this band through down into the body. All right, so now we just have to add a little tail and then we're finished, guys. So let's do the tail part. Okay, so you're gonna need your glue one more time. And again, this is kind of gonna be your preference on where you place it and how big you want it to be. So I'm gonna start off in the butt area and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it more up here. So I'm just kinda, I found some bands that are right um, by this fin here. I'm gonna take one band, bring it through, reclaim, do a slip knot, and I'm just gonna go down right below that. You're not gonna have specific stitches to go through so just try to make it as close to a line as possible. So just crochet a line in, and I'm gonna do, I think, four. So here's my third one. And I'll do one more. All right, so I'll do five. Okay, so now what I have is just this line going down for my tail. And then what I'm going to do is just go in, so I have my hook here, I'm going to go into this uh, band right here, right underneath that one, so I'll put my hook in there. I'm going to take one band, bring it through my stitch only, reclaim. Take another band and bring it through all three stitches, just like that. I'll go on to my second stitch, take another band, bring it through my stitch only, reclaim. So now I have four loops on my hook. I'm going to take another band and bring it through all four of those loops. like that. I'm going to do the same thing on my next stitch. So go through there, take your band, bring it through the stitch only, get another band and bring it through all four loops. Go through my next one. Through my stitch only. Can't see, okay. And then through all four loops. Sorry, I was trying to get my camera to focus there. <laughs> okay, and then I have this little teeny tiny one here. I'm just gonna go through that one too.
it might be kind of hard to get through there, but so in through the stitch only and through all those loops. Now this is what you should have here, and if you want, you can add another row, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to go back the other way. So I now I have these loops on my hook here, and I will start into this one right below it. So again, I'm just going to repeat the process all the way to the end. So I'll bring my, my band through the first loop only and then all the way through and I'll go down to the next stitch first stitch only all the way through go through my next one first stitch only all the way through and then my last one here First stitch only, all the way through. Okay, should up like that. Now I'm going to go down here to where you can see the blue is attached to the yellow. I'm going to slide my hook in there into that blue stitch, or I'm going to try to. Even if you get right there, that's fine. Just take another blue band. Slide it through all the bands on your hook, reclaim, and then do a slip knot. And then just stretch your tail out a little bit. And then this band is going to have to go in the body. So I'm just going to pull it down here like this. And then I'm going to go in the body and pull it through. Oh, it just came back out. <laughs> Okay, so we are finished with Little Flounder. I think he came out pretty cute, and I hope your guys' came out adorable as well, which I'm sure they did. Um, okay, so my next planned Tsum Tsum is going to be the little Ariel. Um, I already just finished designing her yesterday, and I'm happy the way she came out. So I will be doing her tutorial next. And then, who knows after that, I've got such a long list of these things to do. Um, so, I guess it will be a surprise, right? So, I hope you guys enjoyed making this little guy here. And I would love to see yours on either Instagram or Facebook. Um, I'll have my links in the description box below if you guys um, aren't following me yet or on my Facebook page. But... Um, that's what makes this whole thing worth it, is seeing all of your creations. And so I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys next time for the next tutorial. Bye!